How does the, the European uh, basketball journey look uh, for you so far? Uh, I mean, it's been fun. Uh, it's been a great experience. Um, at the end of the day, for me, it's just all about competing at a high level. And um, the EuroLeague has definitely provided that for me. Um, so, you know, it's been fun. It's a new experience. Um, but, and I love the game. I love playing. So to be here, uh, still compete at a high level against great players, um, you know, visiting great cities like here, um, seeing different parts of the world that I have, and it's been fun. It was a difficult decision. I mean, did you talk with uh, uh, some of the many Europeans that played in, in the NBA before um, coming to Europe? Uh, not before. Uh, it was something that happened rather quickly, um, you know. But um, I have talked to some players that I knew personally about, you know, making a transition to Europe. What did you expect and uh, what did you find uh, here in Europe basketball-wise? Honestly, I didn't really expect anything. I came here open-minded. Um, you know, like I said, it's a new experience for me. And so it was all about, for me, it was all about adjusting, you know, coming in, taking it all in, understanding the, the way things are done here. I assume that you agree that more or less basketball is everywhere the same. Yes. Uh, what is the big difference between EuroLeague and the NBA? Well, the game is a little bit slower. Uh, it's more traditional here, I would say. Obviously, in the NBA, the game has changed a lot. Uh, and it's kind of catered more to perimeter shots. But here, I think it's, people are still playing the, the, the full game, kind of using all options, uh, playing more as a team. More tactics? Yeah, more tactics for sure. Um, but it's been very competitive. After 20 almost uh, games in the regular season, uh, what's your overall opinion about the league? Uh, which are the likes and the dislikes that you have? I mean, it's not really any dislikes per se. The fans have been amazing. Uh, so just, I've, I've just been taking everything in, every aspect of it in. In a positive way? In a positive way. You know, um, like I said, for me, personally, it's always about the game. It's always about basketball. Did you see a European team uh, capable of playing in the NBA right now, as it is uh, without any additions? Um, yeah, there's a couple of teams that can, that can, you know, make the transition to the NBA, I, I believe. Um, like? Definitely Barcelona. They could. Um, Pana is, 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 Pana, Pana is, is pretty good. FS definitely could, could also make a transition, I believe, to the NBA. What's your opinion about uh, Rick Pitino's job in Panathinaikos and about the Greek big guy, Georgos Papayanis, who was a lottery pick in yeah. 2016 um, for Sacramento, but couldn't stay long in the NBA. Now he's 22. Coach Pitino is a, is a proven coach. Um, obviously, I competed against him in college when he was at Louisville, so I understand how he does things understand you know his system and things like that and i just think he's, a, he's an all-time great coach in america and you know i think he you know can do a great job here how about the big guy and papianis i mean papianis is good um you know obviously a great rim protector a great rebounder um you know i think he's very good at his role here he probably could do more maybe um but with with the team you know i think he's he's accepted his role and i think he plays really well for them and uh, you know he's definitely a part of their success is your first time in Greece? Yes, it is. Uh, I assume you heard a lot of things uh, about our country, you know, almost in daily basis from Yanis. Yeah, for sure. He always talked about it. Uh, you know, and, I, and you know, we were, as a team, we were asking him about it. You know, for me, it's all, I, I always want to learn about, you know, people's cultures, you know, where they grew up, and especially if it's a city like here where I haven't been until now. So, um, you know, I talked to Yanis a lot about Athens and Greece. In 2015, when you signed for Milwaukee, uh, you got to know the reigning MVP, Jan Sadezokumpo, uh, who back then was making the first steps, you know, for his NBA stardom right now. Right. At that time, did you expect him to be the player that he is today? I, I, I don't know if I expected him to be, but to see the player he's become, I'm not surprised. Um, on a daily basis, you, you see his work ethic. Uh, you see what he puts into the game. You know, he was relentless. At, at trying to make himself a better player. He was relentless as far as being a competitor night in and night out. And, you know, for him, it was all about being the best he could be, uh, competing at the highest level possible, you know, and he, he just wasn't afraid and he attacked everything. You know, it's, it's people that work, but I feel like Giannis had the mentality of attacking everything he did. And I think now you see it in this game, you see the player he's become, you know, physically, mentally, everything he's done, he's worked towards that. 
um, and to you know to be with him every day for a couple of years, um, you know, I'm definitely not surprised that the, the player and the MVP he's turned into. What's the best uh, with this kid from a teammate from a teammate perspective? I mean, I think he the way the way he competes and, and how he every day his work ethic. I think that's he sets a great example for how everyone you know should approach the game, should approach practice, you know, or workouts, whatever. Um, and I, I think you know, obviously now it's spilled over to everybody on the team. I mean, I think his work ethic is contagious. Um, and I think that's you know, obviously that's gotten him to the point that he's at, but you know, also the you know the team is great. The two hundred fifty million dollars question: Is he staying because uh, in Milwaukee because he's a loyal as a person, or or is he staying because uh, they're winning the championship this year? From my experience with him, Giannis is definitely a very loyal person. If I had to bet my money, I would say he stays. I mean, when you're at the top of the the conference. You, you, you're competing for championships. You're one series away from being in the finals. Um, if I had to bet my money, I would, I would say he, just from everything I know about him, I would say he stays. If he leaves, that's obviously a choice he makes, but I think he stays in Milwaukee.